really weird video. Okay, what's up? This is not your favorite VTuber here. I probably am just gonna just call myself not your favorite VTuber. Unless I am someone's favorite VTuber, then then I'm very honored to be your favorite VTuber, but probably not. Alright, so I just had this random thought. How about I do Vault versus Shoe versus Lily? So I'm doing <coughs> Josie Valtriac slash Valkyrie, Brave Valkyrie, and Savior Valkyrie against Turbo Spryzen, Lord Spryzen with TT parts, and up against Rage Longinus and Zly Lunor. So it's really gonna be a freeway battle between these three. To be honest, if I had more if I had more Fafnir, if I had like one more Fafnir, if I had Mirage or Geist, the TT one, I probably could I I probably would do a four-way battle or just remove Louie or Shoe. Alright, so let's get started. Turbo Spryzen will be in right spin, stamina mode, Y Lunar, and also stamina mode. And Josie Valtrek won't have the modes. It's gonna be first team to two points. So Vault has one point right now. Which to be honest is kinda of surprising. I really expected Luinor to win. I guess Spies didn't even knock it out. What who knocked it out? I'm not sure. No points, because as soon as I watched Josie Valtria, Spies and Luinor knocked each other out. And then Josie Valtrek is just roaming around until Lunar can't help. Alright, let's do that again. And Josie Valtrek still for lead. Okay, Lunar out again. Valtrek has a big chance now. With Lunar not being in competition anymore, we can win easily. And... Spryzen's out of here, so no more Turbo Spryzen. Instead, we upgrade to Lord Spryzen, and mm, instead of Zwy Lunar, we're upgrading to Rage Longness. And yes, I do understand. I think Guilty Longness has came out. My sister just gave me fifteen dollars, and I have some money, so I might be able to order Guilty Longness. I really want it. At the same time, I want Dynamite Belial. At the same time, I don't, cause to be honest, I don't really like Dynamite Belial that much. Okay, I can't really say much. Because you really just have to buy other products to get the whole thing. Really? I don't know what Astral Spray can do. Let's just stop. Okay, I'm just gonna waste time. Alright. This is what happens when a Beyblade is too powerful. You, like, you literally can't be in the ring with it for one second. Like, I can't even launch the other Beyblade. Longinus, just stop being good. Actually, no, no, keep being good. I don't want you to end up like Bloody Longinus. Bloody Longinus was absolute massacre. Bloody Longinus was trash. They've got Spryzen's in right spin mode. Okay, that was Lunor, I think. Longinus! I'm pretty, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure Longinus had like one extra spin. I don't know. I'm pretty sure Longinus won. I'll just give that to Longinus. Let's go again. Okay, let's put Spryzen in the lowest tip. Still in right spin mode, so we're still able to equalize with Lunor. Longinus! <laughs> Stop destroying Beyblades, okay? I, why am I talking to a spinning top? Why am I talking to a toy? Why am I? And for some reason, Spryzen changed modes. Of course it's the same pocket mode. This is going to happen for a while. Especially if Rage just being so good and Spryzen's moving around so much. If I change Spryzen to left spin mode, it's gonna be even worse. It's just gonna get knocked out in like a millisecond. This doesn't count. How 
did I launch Chosy Voucher inside the pocket? How am I that bad at using spinning tops? Okay. Well, I guess I'm new again. What is this, like the fifth time? No, it's not. But it's okay. Longness just decides it wants to be the best Beyblade on the planet and knock out Spryzen literally a millisecond after landing. Then Spryzen starts to for a bit. Okay, well, this is getting way too. I'm gonna launch Longness first. Chosy Voucher X been knocked out. Spryzen's going to stay the same. Now we're just going to up downgrade into Slash Valkyrie. No burst stoppers, no rubber, less speed. Just a tiny bit heavier. So Slash Valkyrie may not even be heavier. I think it is, not sure. Okay. Yeah, Slash Valkyrie is such a bad day, but... <laughs> Okay, a draw. Slash, I'm gonna take out Slash Valkyrie, now Brave Valkyrie. Slash Valkyrie is really just the only Beyblade that you can disrespect and get away with. Like really, Slash Valkyrie is just so bad. I've seen clips of single layer Valkyrie taking it out. That's how bad it is. And should I change left spin mode? I'm not sure. I'll stay in right spin mode for now. <laughs> Stop being good, Longinus. I don't care if you end up like Buddy Longinus. Just stop being good. Alright. Okay. Speed up. Come on, Spryzen. Use your rubber to spin steel. Oh, there you are. Longinus. Okay, it doesn't really matter who wins, because now we got Vault's final form. Fully awakened Saber Valkyrie. Downgraded, I'll say. Because to be honest, it's not as good as Brave. Like, it doesn't suck, but it's just not as good as the original one. Like, there are some Beyblades I really don't want to blame for being bad, because at least they're super fun and gimmicky. <laughs> No points! Okay. No, they literally sandwiched Spryzen. Spryzen is literally in the middle of them. Alright, now we're finally going to switch mode to Spryzen. I think with less spin mode, it might be easier to get away from Longinus, because you're not- because you're an opposite spin- no, you're same spin. But you are going to be getting hit by Valkyrie a bit more, but it doesn't really matter, because I would rather get beat up by Valkyrie than get beat up by Longinus. Because Longinus will literally break your Beyblade, like, there are a lot of Beyblades Longness is broke. Like, even the fake version, even the fake one can break Bays, except for the Hasbro one. The Hasbro one is kind of a massacre, not gonna lie. No words. Nothing to say about that. Still no points for anybody else. Oh! And Spryzen! Somehow a GT Beyblade is able to maneuver a DB and a Sparking Bay. Okay. Yeah, some, DB, some GT Bays can actually stand up to Sparking and DB Bays. Alright. So, Spryzen's the only one for point right now. Oh, whoa! And Spryzen just won. Are you kidding me?
Bryson has just won two to zero to zero. Are you actually kidding me? A GT Bay is able to beat a DB and Sparking Bay. Like, these bays aren't even bad. I mean, they're all really good. To be honest, I might just do one on one battles with all of them. Except for, like, Rage and Savior, since I've done that like 20 times. Maybe I'll do a one-on-one -on -one battle of these two, and possibly one-on-one -on -one battle of these two. Not Slash. I might include Slash, but okay. That might be tomorrow, because I'm doing way too many uploads today. Well, that's it. Goodbye.